completed my adjustments, Dr. Fogler. You may begin recording. Thank you, I already have. This is Ulrich Vogel, director of Project N Station. 7th of March, 1944, 10.03 p.m. Commencing cyclotron test run number 12. Dr. Kurtz, please proceed. All the readings are within acceptable parameters. Looks like we are getting the collisions we expected and, um, some interesting patterns are starting to... What was that? I, I, I do not know. Gages are redlining. We have to shut down. My God, what is happening to the air around the collider? You men, get away from that! End station, 12th of March, 1944. Five days have passed since the accident. I am starting to see it not as a setback, but a breakthrough, literally. The cyclotron continues to operate, apparently without an external power source. We cannot deactivate it, and it is still manifesting the strange phenomenon I call a rift. And Kurt calls a wormhole. He attached instruments to the end of a long metal pole and passed it through the rift. The readings confirm that somehow the cyclotron ripped through the fabric of space-time. Something lies on the other side. A parallel world, or perhaps a whole universe. But we dare not approach too closely lest we suffer the same fate as the men currently held in our medical clinic. Those men remain in a state best described as living death. Kurt thinks they caught a high dose of some exotic radiation from the other side of the rift. We are checking their blood and tissue samples for traces of rare elements or otherworldly pathogens. Strike team, Weaver here. I understand this has been a lot to take in. Interdimensional breaches all over the world. An infection transforming people into the undead. Not exactly a great two weeks for any of us. Requiem had to react quickly. The same day I was personally requested to run field ops. I was ordered to assemble a short list of operatives. That's you guys. Here's what we know. Two weeks ago, a KGB Spetsnaz unit known as Omega Group came here and reactivated its particle accelerator. Their actions caused the outbreak zones we're now seeing around the world. 
this place is ground zero. Why they did it and to what end, that's what we're gonna figure out. We lost two teams before learning about the site. Make their sacrifices count. Let's get some answers. Oh, one more thing. Don't be surprised if the other division leads contact you, introduce themselves. They're experts in their field, so show some respect and play nice.
who open these portals, and you bet your ass it's to get some sort of tactical advantage over us. This is an entirely new dimension we're dealing with. The technology it could potentially offer is unfathomable. We may have nukes, but what if your enemy uses an interdimensional weapon? Something we can't anticipate encounter. This is the new arms race, and we've already fallen behind. Now look, I got nothing against these eggheads and their scientific pursuits. I'm just here to make sure the DOD gets what's rightfully theirs. That includes Strauss and his Ethereum crystals. If we are to regain the advantage over our enemy, we need to act fast and make sure these science types don't keep anything from us. Don't let me down. 